guys, there is a difference between a slay queen and a real queen. A slay queen checks what the man drives, but a real queen checks what drives the man. Hey. A slay queen is interested in what you drive, but a real queen wants to know what drives the man. A slay queen wants to know where you are coming from, but a real queen wants to know where you are going. Ah. and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Hinda, barimini. Welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Are you alright today, dude? You seem yeah, a bit agitated today. No, I'm sad because I couldn't play soccer. Oh, because there was what? lightning. Is that why you've been snapping since you got here? What do you mean snapping? You've been snapping like every time I was. I'm not on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't snapping like being on Snapchat and shit? No. Oh, like um, I thought it was that time of the month or something. What time of the month? You know the. You see, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> You see what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but what time of the month? <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, welcome to it. It is podcast it's okay. and chill. Uh, it oh, is the Q and A edition. Question and answers edition. We also sent through some questions on social media. Yes, I, I got a shitload, bro. Uh, so this might be a long show because we've got a lot of questions to ask. But before we get into that, though, uh, we ran a competition. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have to announce the winner. Yes, we ran a Casper yes. Vest competition. Uh, tell us. Tell us. Who are going to be making their way to Pochish Room on the 26th of April. Yeah. For Casper. He's going to be there out at Katleho Lounge. As part of his uh, sweet and uh, sour tour, ne? Sour? Sweet, sweet and short. short. Oh, short, short and sweet. <laughs> what does sour have to do with anything? <laughs> Just says... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, the two winners that we went into the <laughs> and we dragged out is uh, Mahoro. Uh, his Twitter handle is at Mrayindi. I don't know what that means, but like, yeah, that's a weird name. So Mahoro uh, at Mrayindi is our first winner. He's the guy who said Puma Game is actually his favorite Casper New Vest song. Oh, Puma Game. Yeah. I like that Destiny one. Man, that one hits the spot, bro. There's his 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 catalog is is, is big. Yeah, uh, I can't point out to a favorite song. There's just too many jams. Yeah, that he's, got from, his, from he's got Kez. his. He's got his. Yeah, Kaz is a G. Kaz is a G. And the second winner of the Caspanio Vest Sweet and Short Tour, the Purchase Room Edition, happening out at Katlaho Lounge on the 26th of April, 2019, day before Freedom Day. Jeff Chauke. Yeah. Uh, his Twitter handle is at G3FS0N underscore. That is complicated, though. And what do you win? Uh, you win double VIP tickets. Nice, nice. Mm. So you'll be out there in the VIP doing your thing. And we might just see you there because we're broadcasting live that day. Rumor has it. Yeah. Rumor has it. Yeah. Rumor. But I don't know. You know, uh, People are peddling rumors that we might be there. We don't know. Yeah. This shit happens. But anyway, congratulations to the two guys. Uh... Yeah, man, looking forward to the 26th. Uh, if uh, rumors are anything to go by, we're going to be all up in there, jamming to Casper. And yeah. everybody else who's going to be there. There's an artist actually from Clarkstop. He does trap. I forgot his name, but he's apparently the next big thing. Is it? Yeah. He's a, he's a hip hop artist. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. hip hop, trap, Afro trap, whatever the, whatever the hell they call it. I don't know. All right, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the question and answer segment of today's podcast. Uh, all you had to do was drop us a uh, WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp? Oh, is the WhatsApp up and running now? <laughs> hey, what WhatsApp? <laughs> hey. Don't be lying to peeps, man. No, the WhatsApp line. See, what happened was, right? Yeah. Put the music down. You need yeah. to do a public service announcement up in here. I said put the music down. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Anyway. So what had happened was, right, there was uh, complications that happened with the WhatsApp line. So we had to go back and reconfigure it. And we've got a new WhatsApp line. Oh, we've got a new WhatsApp line. Yeah, we've got a new WhatsApp line. We've got a new What's WhatsApp the number? Line. So if you want to drop us a WhatsApp on Podcast and Chill, the number is 
All right, cool. So I got a tweet from Nobo underscore kid. He says it's pointless because we won't get an answer. Y'all keep interrupting. <laughs> you keep interrupting me. <laughs> hey, we get that a lot. A lot of people say that, eh? That you interrupt me. Yeah. Yes. And vice versa. You interrupt me. No, as I well. don't. But the thing that's just how we talk, dude. Even when we're not recording, we talk like that. Okay, whatever. But you know what I must give you? You see, right? he just interrupted me. <laughs> I was about to say something. <laughs> wow. But what I must give you, right? Because what normally happens is when we're not on air, Len takes the longest time to get to the point, which is why I interrupt him. But you don't do that that much on the podcast, actually. So your level of impatience is now filtering in. Mm, I don't know. The thing is, like, when I think of something, I just want to say it before I forget. No, but you must learn to listen. Yeah. That but is the problem. But that's how we talk anyway. It doesn't matter. But you must learn to listen. It means you don't listen. That's your mm. problem. Anyway, go back to the tweets. Uh, T underscore Geisen says, will he ever go back to radio? Uh, me or you? Uh, he's asking me. I'd love to go back to radio, man. Fuck. I love radio. But I think I'm blacklisted. <laughs> no one wants to hire me. You're a red flag. <laughs> I'm a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why. Because people think I'm controversial, but I'm not. Can I plead the fifth? Why? Why? Why you want to plead the fifth? Because you said I don't think I'm controversial. No, I think people think I'm controversial, but I'm not. Yes, because the thing is, like, if I was controversial, I wouldn't have lasted at nine four seven. I worked there for like six years. You're a ticking time bomb. Uh, no, but I'm also professional. Doesn't matter. You're a ticking time bomb. Bombs are also professional. So if I was a tick, if I'm a ticking time bomb, uh, how, how how did I last at nine four seven? I don't know exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Your sangoma is very strong. Eh? No, I am just a diligent employee. Oh, listen to you. Diligent employee. <laughs> and I'm listen misunderstood. So people think I'm controversial, please, but nigga, I'm not. Please. Nah, dude. You're just out here like, I'm misunderstood. I'm a diligent employee. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. If you want me to be controversial, I can. If you want me to be... Uh, what's no, you've time, been, if you want me to keep saying time and temperature, I can do that. No, you've you've been controversial. It's fine. It's okay. We're not gonna go back there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah I would love to get back to radio. Uh, that Speaking of radio, actually, uh, you check that the new lineups out. Yeah, I don't even care. Okay. Yeah. Who's who's doing what? What's happening? But you don't care. So why should we discuss it? Well, now that you brought it up. Anyway. You see what I'm saying? You're you snappy today. What's it's wrong, dude? Like, like hey, what's do you going? need to get laid? What's going on? No, 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 no. The lay is good. Don't worry. <laughs> Gotta you need to release some anger, dog. Uh-uh. Yeah? Calm I'm down, fine. dog. I'm fine. I told you, I'm just like I had to drive all the way to Colette to go play soccer. And then Mother Nature decided to do what Mother Nature did to us yesterday. I drove all the way to your house to record, but I couldn't because, well, you know, <sighs> electricity and recording. And now I went to soccer and there was lightning. And you obviously know you can't be running around in an open field while there's lightning. Okay. Uh, that's why I'm going to cut him off now. He's taking forever to explain just one simple thing. That's why I always cut him off. No, I was telling you why I'm a bit... So irritated. Jen under Bie- underscore Biela says, Why is it 30 year old or some change will ask you out knowing your age range? Uh, wait, 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 then wait, wait, wait. Please read that properly. Don't why is it? A 30-year-old or some change will ask you out, knowing your age range. Then when you're conversing, they feel they need to drop her because you're still young. Like, mate, then leave me alone. Why do they do that? This sounds like ask a man kind of question. Must we WhatsApp this to you know? <laughs> I know she can assist. Oh, this was funny. Hey, she was having me on Twitter today. Matapelo underscore DDR. Hey, she was roasting me. Did you see her tweets? Uh, no, I didn't. Because I think when the questions were rolling, I was... Oh, no, I saw her first few ones. I didn't see the ones that she was roasting you on. Yeah. Yeah, because I ended up driving to, to the soccer earlier on. Yeah. All right. She says, your conversations differ as to the people who you are with. When it is just you guys, the convos are intriguing. Deep, in fact. But add a ghost lady in the mix. Kid nonsense, wire, wire. More like y'all always try to understand how women's mind reasons. Why? Yeah, you answer. Mm. Who's always flirting with a ghost lady? <laughs> yeah. 
Not me. Hey, people have always been having me for flirting with our guests or the celebrity. Yeah. Uh, King, is everything okay at home? Yeah, everything's okay. It's just, um, see, what people don't understand yeah, is uh, women like to be flattered, right? So it's like an icebreaker. So by me flirting with her, I'm just getting her comfortable before we get into the serious stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, That's why I'm always able to get stuff from these guests that other people can't get. Because I make them feel so comfortable that they, you know, can talk and say whatever they want to say. Okay. So They open up. They open up. So it's like an icebreaker. Okay. Yeah. Don't you wish. (laughs) 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 Don't you wish. Uh, So don't you want to answer this question? Um, why is it that we are deep when it's just the two of us? But generally, like even when we're not doing the podcast, we generally talk deep stuff. Not really. We talk nonsense half the time. Most of the time, yeah. but we do get deep sometimes. Sometimes when the need arises. Yeah. So yeah. We definitely don't talk about gossip and who's trending and what's happening. No, and I don't, I don't, I don't understand, like why I would be discussing what's trending on Twitter because. Whoever's discussing it is there. I- I'll mention something and say like, yo, check check this out. Like, Nomuzi just had a car crash. Mm. Ah, it's fake. That type of thing. Yeah. And then, in and out. Done. Yeah. There's no need to dwell and go deep into it. It's unnecessary, man. Yeah. But I got to say, for the sake of the podcast, we got to know what's happening. Otherwise, we're going to sound like <laughs> we live in a cave. Well... Midrand is kind of a cave if you think about it. <laughs> no, but if it's on Twitter already, like you end up being like what half of SA Radio is doing now. Everything that is content on radio and television is Twitter. So uh, we're just going to be regurgitating what's there. If I want to see what people think, I'll just log on to the app. I've got the app. Damn it. Toll underscore as underscore Doomza says, if you could go back to radio, which station would it be and which slot would you choose? Uh, fuck. I'd love to go back to Y, man. I think I have unfinished business there. Show DJ's boo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's Go there and add more fire, nigga. <laughs> what's Lord? Would I choose drive time? Definitely. I love drive time, man. Because I feel like with radio breakfast, ne, in the morning, people want to know what's happening in the world. You understand? And then the kind of radio I do is like um, escapism radio. Like, when I you listen to my show, I want you to forget about all nah, your problems. I need escapism. Can I finish? Mister, I don't interrupt you. I need escapism. It's nice, ne? When it's done to you, ne? <laughs> it's nice, ne? It's nice, ne? <laughs> the shoe is on the other foot. Yeah. Damn it. Anyway, you were saying? So, as I was saying, uh, yeah, so with drive time, you know, people are tired from work. They got in the car. They're in traffic. They just want to, you know laugh have a good time even in the morning when we go to work yeah but in the morning you more uh you, you like you want to know what's happening in the world more. and listen to 702 yeah but anyway hope that answers that uh well, you prep today I'm, I'm very impressed eh? yeah there was a lot of questions dude. Yeah, 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 so yeah, i had to yeah, put yeah. them in one place brian underscore ta shinga says how long have you been friends with len fuck me yes it's been don't make while. it sound long it's 10 years has it been 10 years? Okay, 11. Because we met... 20, 2008, around July, August. How do you remember that? I just have a good memory. Yo, I don't even remember that. But I don't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> do you remember the day? Time? <laughs> it was... That was just a rhetorical question, by the way. I remember you were doing sports... On Chile's show. show, yes, and we had to go to Pilansberg for an outside broadcast. And I was standing in for more flavor. We came after Chile, M. yes, the Urban Express, yes, yes. So I was standing in for more, and that's the first time we met. And we ended up speaking about radio for like the whole morning. Well, you actually, not really. We met at the Bosporad in July, ah, but I didn't know you then, right? No, 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 we met there, and then there was a girl that I was vibing with, and then you stole her from me. Oh. That night, so she ended up in your room and not mine. Who was this? Mm, Twada. <laughs> it's fine. Let bygones be bygones. It's okay. okay. And then subsequent to that, that's when we went to Pilansburg. And yeah. All right, here's another one. 187 Randy underscore. 
says, besides yourself, who's your favorite podcaster? Mm. Uh, see, I have, diff- I have different podcasts that I listen to for different reasons. So like in the car, I like to listen to the Breakfast Club, So especially the interviews. So I like to download the interviews and then I put them in my memory stick and then I listen to them in the car. When I'm at home... Your car is a memory stick thing thing. Yeah. Oh, nice. And then the my, movement. my... When I'm at home, I like, I like listening to Joe Budden. I like him. I like him a lot. Um, and soccer, Man United as well. So like there's this guy on YouTube... Uh, the United Stand. I watched that like religiously, and the Transfer Window podcast. Yeah, and you? It's Football Weekly. I like Simply America. Just, she's loud. I just love how loud she is. Did you hear what happened with her? No. She's going to South Korea, ne? South Korea. She's gonna go teach there. So she had to take down all the videos on YouTube because they were screening her. You kidding me? I kid you not. <laughs> I just found this out today. <laughs> Simply America is gone. She's gone. She's going to South Korea, bro. She's going to go teach English. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Actually, if you are in South Korea and you teach English, hit us up and just tell us what it's like. Because I know there's a lot of South Africans yeah. who actually make their way there. Yeah. Some get into trouble because they hook up with like bogus institutions. Uh, not institutions per se, but like you know these recruiters, yeah, yeah. and they end up being arrested and whatever. There was Fly a lady who was yeah, there was a lady who was in jail for like the longest time because yeah. we international like that. Yeah. I know we've got like a we've got like a um, 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 a subscriber who's in somewhere in the states, and she's like a big fan of the show. Yeah, we've so got, we've got those beautiful some, ladies from Portugal. Which ones? Those snow bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Do not get me started. <laughs> I'm culturally sensitive. <laughs> Do not get me started. So, like, yeah, big ups to you, international. Even the local guys as well. Durban, Cape Town, PE, Pretoria, Joburg, yeah. the USA, wherever. Shout out, med love. We as love a matter of fact, time. wherever you're listening from, just comment in the section below and then we'll read it out in the next podcast. Yeah. So, just tell us where you're at. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, cool. Uh, fictional underscore character says, "When are you inviting Bonang to the podcast?" Woo wee, Morgel, Morgel, and that's never gonna happen, yo. Yeah, no, <laughs> dream deferred. <laughs> you know, there are some celebs that won't do this podcast because it's not big enough. Truth be told, but and she's you... one of them. Wait, wait, wait! I've got an idea. Right, right. let us drink a bottle of House of BNG in yeah. the next episode, and then. Put it like here and give it like cloud and shit. And then like, you know, it's like we're hooking her to come through and stuff. Cause she's, she's, she, I think she's cool. It's just that I don't she's think. She's fucking cool. I don't think she's got the time. No, she does have time. It's just that she won't do it because of our, num- our numbers. If we had like a hundred thousand or a million subscribers, she'd definitely do it. Okay. Let's get 10 of our subscribers to buy a bottle of BNG, house of BNG. And then they must tweet the picture and then say, we bought this because we want you to go to podcast and chill. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And celebs love doing this whole yeah. uh, fake love shit on Twitter. It's not fake love. We do love Bonang. But like, yeah, that. No, I'm saying she's going to see it and be like, okay, because you did that, I will come. No, but I think genuinely she would come. I think Bonang is very busy. Yeah. All right. right. We'll see. We'll She's see. not like you. She was actually the first interview I did ever at Why. You know that? Oh. Yeah. When she was. When she invited weekend. you to live. Oh yeah, and then she invited me to live as well. But anyway, it was yeah. a butter deal. Uh, Do me okay. Uh, hmm. Od slash says, "What camera do you use to film the cast?" <laughs> you don't want to know. We use an iPhone XR. You're like, we're only using that today. We used to use an iPad, which was uh, owned by the previous ghost lady. So <laughs> once she left the show, she went with the iPad as well. It's hers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we used to use an iPad, but not anymore. What phone is this? It's an, it's an iPhone XR. XR? Yeah. There's an iPhone XR now? Yes. Jeez, they're That's running out of ideas. The X is for 10. They're running out of ideas. No, they're not. How do you guys make money with what you're doing? Hmm, this is Titus Sitole. We now, don't make any money. Chief. Now I've got a job. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get that out the way. 
<laughs> I've got a job. We've never made money from this podcast, not a single cent. If you will, if you want to donate, by, by all means. Uh, we qualify for monetization because after a thousand subscribers, you can qualify for monetization from YouTube, right? But they only pay you if people actually watch like the whole ad that plays. So, so watch the people, ads. So if people skip, are you a cheater? <laughs> So watch the ads, watch the ads, watch the ads. Watch so the if ads. people skip, then we don't get paid. But anyway, we've never made How many money. times do you skip YouTube ads? All the time. Okay. That's why I don't even, like, you I'm not, not even going to say, hey, don't skip the ads because I do don't it all the skip. time. Don't skip. Oh, oh, no. nah, don't skip. It's fine. Are you a cheater? <laughs> <laughs> Buckle Stinte has two questions. What really happened between you guys and the first ghost lady? And can you guys reveal her to us? Uh, okay, so that's question number one. What Who's really the first happened? ghost lady? Uh, my baby mama. So uh, what happened is uh, we was broke up. Chief. Yeah, we broke up. So she stopped doing the podcast. And yeah, that's what happened. But we're back together now. Chase. Kai. <laughs> I told you about Rustenberg woman. All right. Next question. Oh, are you willing to collaborate with other YouTubers like Microwave Boys, Sibum Panza, Mithali, OK Wasabi, and others on this podcast or their channels? Well, I'm actually interviewing a YouTuber tomorrow, but I'm not going to say who because if, it, if I don't record, <laughs> people will have me, bruh. People will have me, but yeah. What do Microwave Boys speak about? I don't know. I've never. I've seen like a few of the episodes. Actually, I've never watched the whole one. I've never watched any of the episodes. And and this is no disrespect. I just yeah. don't. I, I think they talk about trending topics on Twitter and stuff. Like I was saying, when you ask me what podcast, I, I and and again, I don't get the point. Like, why are you talking about something that's already out there? Well, it works for them. They've got like so many subscribers. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah. isn't that uh, Larry guy part of it? Yeah, Larry. Yeah, yeah, Larry has clout, so it's fine. Yeah. Um. So yeah. We actually do want to collaborate. I mean, we did. What is America? So that's when, like, if that's like us going to America's channel and America coming to our channel. Oh, no, we're open to ideas. Don't worry. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. This is like we don't really know who's these YouTubers. I don't know. Do you know any of them? Mm, no. Yeah. Maybe we must start watching their channels. Maybe they're doing something right that we are not doing. <laughs> we can learn the thing. They're giving to. shit away for free. <laughs> <laughs> can we give you away? Yeah. Uh, Maybe that can help. Uh, Masindi Siaga says, on a level from one to five, how freaked out was Mac G by the interview with Scoop? Oh, I know. Five out of five. I remember, did I call you straight after the interview? I'm like, dude, I just did a crazy interview. No, you called your baby mama first. Then you texted me. Yeah. So you didn't call me. Okay. Yeah. You right. contacted me, yes. Yeah. Not called. All right. Okay. I hear you. Yeah, no, I just answered. Mm. Move on. Uh, Q&A Mac G What happened to you And more flavors Condom brand uh, We it finished burst. all of them <laughs> <laughs> Hey you foul <laughs> uh, We finished them Yeah that's what happened Were you blowing them up At parties No We finished them What do you do with condoms You can put water in them And throw them at people mm mm-hmm. Uh, okay. You can give them away to people. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sabelo Mchunu says, What happened Mkunu. with you and Mom Mkunu? Uh, <laughs> says, <laughs> Mkunu. Uh, says, What happened with you and Mo Flavor? Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, Why are you all beefing? We're not beefing. There's no beef. Like, Mo Flavor, we're not friends. Like, it's just a guy I know, a guy I used to work with. Mm. Uh, I only speak to Mo Flavor once a year, and that's when I'm doing my birthday. <laughs> Chief, can you come play? <laughs> yeah, in November. That's the only time I speak to Mo. And that's what I was trying to say the, the other time before the, the guest ghost lady interrupted us and, you know, decided to spill the beans about him. I wanted to say that since November, because I booked him last year in November. Yeah. And I was like, yo, dude, when are you coming on the podcast? Because people want to have you on. And I was like, yeah, dude, you know, give me a call anytime. I give him a call. And then I call. And then every time I speak to him, for him to come, there's always an excuse. But he's busy. No, like he'll commit. He does a drive show on Metro FM. He'll commit and like, yo, come to my house, let's record. And then on the day, he'll be like, hey, sh- I can't. Maybe you must go to his house. I just said. Oh, come to my house isn't him. Listening is a skill. You learning, I'm impressed. <laughs> I 
I'm impressed. You're learning. Uh, so yeah, if you really want, because a lot of people want me to do more flavor, I think the best thing to do is just tag him and say, "Yo, dude, when are you gonna do the podcast?" Or maybe I should try ask him. Uh, you can try, but I think what's best is uh, if you want more flavor to come through in podcast. Actually, you whatever you want, just no. But a lot them. of people ask me all the time, like, "When are you having more flavor?" So, like I said, tag him at more flavor, hashtag podcast and chill, and ask more, him. It's at more flavor DJ. At more flavor DJ. Yeah. Yeah. And then ask him to come on the podcast. And then let's see what happens. Okay. Hey, oh, so he, lost, he lost Masi Chaba, by the way. Oh, who's, who's replacing her now? Uh, who's on the show? I can't remember. Oh, it's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's the, 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 the guy who's... Uh, he acts. Um, Ndiki, somebody. Who is it? Owen Honey. No, Owen Honey is a sports guy. He's always been there. And then uh, the news lady is Pel Shongwe. Pel Shongwe. The girl who used to do entertainment for him on YFM. Is it? When it started, when he, was start, when he started doing breakfast. Before he discovered Kuto. Oh. Yes. Mm. So apparently Silon Diki or whatever the guy's name is. Moshe, that one. Moshe. Oh, okay. Cool. Mm. I don't know. Moshe. Moshe. No, Dino still got her show though. The weekend. Oh. Yeah, Dino's still doing um what? Oh Flipper Man. That <laughs> that one. <laughs> that men thing. Alright. I am LTK Warwick says, Can you guys stop interrupting each other every time you engage in yeah. topics? Okay, we've spoken about that. Uh Zamini si Bonging Kosi. Hey? When are people are gonna kill you for butchering their names, eh? <laughs> yeah, how do you say it? Oh, I don't see it. But I'm gonna have to move. Yeah, how do you say it? 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 Yeah, you say it? Yeah, how do you say it? Yeah, how do you say it? Yeah, how do you say it? how do you maintain to be so humble when you're so good at what you do? Uh, Who's humble? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need to find this out. <laughs> Who is humble? <laughs> Who is humble? Are you saying I'm a prima donna? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Eh? Do you need shrooms and a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> they won't get that joke because that episode didn't go up. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Do you want mushrooms to see the inner you? Nah, dude. I don't think I'm fucking... I think I'm very humble. No. To say the least. Humble people don't say I'm humble. That's the problem. Humble people don't drive the car I drive. What does a car have to do with being humble? You just It says a lot. You don't fucking have money to buy a new car. <laughs> what does being humble have to do with that? <laughs> but anyway, to answer your question, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, like, um, I love doing this. It's just that it happens to be on a big platform or when I was on radio as well, TV. But it's like, even if I was a gardener, like, I'd still be the same. You can't do garden for shit. <laughs> but I'm saying, or like, I just do what I love, and it happens to be on a big platform. That's it. Okay. So that's but why your ass ain't humble, though. I'm fucking humble, dude. You know that. Why? Uh, you wouldn't be chilling with me if I wasn't humble. Anyway, Tejo. I'm says, humble. Huh? I'm humble. You? <laughs> <laughs> Please, motherfucker. Please tell us between <laughs> like, there's many of you guys who probably met us or know us, right? <laughs> between me and MacGyver, who do you think is more humble? Hey, our subscribers have a lot of homework today. Yeah. <laughs> Last part, hey, just like we're working. Hi, 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 hi. Let's all work. All right, so this together is... we can do more. <laughs> oh, you can paint in chief. Yeah, can't we get like Julius Malema on the show, bro? I'd love to have him. We're on. not big enough. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of celebrities that we are not big enough to interview just yet. So when we get big, hopefully we'll have them on. I still want to do Shoma Josie. Shoma Josie is one of them. Paul Mudiari says, flat out, I don't do interviews. <laughs> Get, oh, hey now, oh. <laughs> I thought she was humble. <laughs> wow. Maybe it's because we've got history, so she's thinking I'm going to bring it up or whatever. You know. What are you going to bring up? Yeah, but anyway. That's the story for now. No, what are you going to bring up? Uh, who else? Is, ah, look how I just got off rim. Uh, Nasty C also. He wants us to get a couple more subscribers and then he'll do it. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So Julius, I'd love to have him on. Jeez, I mean, Julius is a cool guy. Yeah, man. Fuck. Even Figile Mbalula is cool. Figile would be dope, yeah. Eh? So a picture of him. Like, Figile is like a... 
45 year old slash 50 year old screw screw yeah yeah yeah, yeah. have you seen how it, like how he dresses how he carries himself he's like bloody super cool man for a guy as old as he is yeah 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 what do you do you want a mic do you just want a mic <laughs> no what yes our our new producer slash like she's everything she runs us yeah Mbuyiseni. Oh yeah, the people's bay. Oh, the people's bay. The guy bae. with like uh he's uh and he's a cool guy. And he's Do you want a mic cuz people can't hear you when you keep talking like that. No, 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 no. She's giving us direction like you know when it was crazy for you it crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. And one of the most annoying things with that is like the earpiece when like you've been given directions you're doing one thing and you have to ah fucking annoying. Yeah, the earpiece is uh, I fucking hate it, man. It throws you off guard. Exactly. Like now, when you talk, you throw me off guard because I, 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 I'm, I'm hearing the headphones, so I can't hear what you're saying. I just say bo 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 bo. No, I'm hearing. She was but talking I can't, to me. You don't have headphones. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. So this is my earpiece. Yes, but even on radio, that's what you work with. Remember, I used to be a secretary of defense <laughs> behind the screen. <laughs> yeah, but on radio, you don't have an earpiece in your headphones. You don't have people saying stuff. You do actually. What do you mean? So, like, you know, uh. So, yeah. like, if you don't know, like, a radio setup, right? There's the studio where the broadcast As he is talks happening. out of the mic. <laughs> so, there's a studio where the, where the broadcast is happening, right? And then there's another room where producers and, and call screeners go yeah. or sit. Yeah. So, where the call screeners go, there's, like, a little button that you press, like, at a shop, like... Eh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. that goes into your ear. Oh, in the yeah. Same yeah. Gareth, Gareth Cliff used to do that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I get what you're saying now. You've never been a producer, so how the hell would you know? <laughs> you know? Uh, they're telling us, next topic. Oh, next topic. All right, cool. Here we go. Hey, we've got a direct. We, we're moving up. Eh? <laughs> we've got a direct. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there's a lady who wants to style us, by the way. Oh, yeah. There's a lady who wants to style us. Style us how? Do we dress like shit? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> She actually sent me a post on, on Facebook today. She's like, yo, do you guys have a stylist? Can I style you? I'm like, hey. Cool. Sorry, my excuse today is I was playing soccer, guys. As you can see, I'm in soccer gear. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, and by the way, we uh, a lot of people have been asking us to uh, do some merch. So we've started with that. We've got a couple of designs. Merc. Merch. Merchandise. Oh. Okay. Are you okay, dog? Is, are you sober today? Are you drunk? What's going on? No, I'm fine. That's the problem. <laughs> the problem if only you're drunk then you'd be able to hear me no i so i misheard yeah. my apologies so yeah we want to print some merch so we're looking for a black owned printing company since we support black businesses to do our merch yeah okay, so cool. if you are that company do drop us an email podcast at this is com. looking for a black owned company to do printing for our merch and don't forget black friday if you want us to profile your business because we want to make it our business don't forget to also drop us an email on Podcast at this is com. There we go. Oh, you can drop us a WhatsApp actually. The number 081 474 And we got you, man. All right. Timothy Mukoka says, Mac G, what is your stance or take on Dinero Ranaka's whole mixtape debacle? Or would you rather not delve into it because she's more like a sister to you? What? Uh, so basically, uh, I was actually. I was at her house when she told me the story. She was so livid. She was so mad. She got a whole legal team um, to, to, to respond to this. And I was like, what? You got a legal team? <laughs> oh, and if you're a lawyer, <laughs> uh, we open uh, Black Lawyer, though. Uh, we need a legal team. Hit so, us up. Yeah, the number, you know, and the email address. Hit us up. Yeah. So long legal story team. short, no? uh, Brazo Africa is a DJ. Aaron Pulukwan. Daniel was playing in Pulukwan. So he sent out a tweet like, Daniel, why were you playing a mixtape? <laughs> and that's where she got mad because she wasn't playing a mixtape. She was actually so hacked and so bummed because uh, the last 30 minutes, the mixer wasn't okay. Because yeah. you know? she travels with her own CDJs yeah. to gigs. And the last 30 minutes, according to her, the lady bear. Yeah. So she was kicking herself about it. So he's like, yo, dude, if you thought that was a mixtape, you know, I'm flattered. <laughs> She's that good. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, she, she didn't take it very well. She didn't take it well. Then. A big up she to was, Yeah, she was so... Because the thing is, she puts a lot of work in this. Like in the house, she's got a studio 
where she practices like every single day because she's like obviously you know they're going to be haters and people are going to be like hey Danielle, you're a reality star why are you not a dj so she says she has to prove and take it seriously more than other people you know so she can prove them wrong so i think you know it's 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 sad because she puts in the hours you know and she really 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 does want to do well look her and i've never heard a mix at a club so i can't comment about her mixing i can only say what i've seen look she's she's seasoned she knows a lot of music and i think she knows the hits the appropriate hits to put together yeah but knowing music and mixing are two do- totally yeah, different but things i get it you have to mix the right songs it's not about the mixing it's the songs that you mix i think especially if you play she doesn't play house i gather no she doesn't yes she so plays. you're telling me you'd listen to dj who mixes shit but his uh, song selection is good no but it's mixing is it's it's just like you don't answer the question. Chief. You can, you can, po 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 a mix. <laughs> I mean, like, most DJs do that. Like, they're playing song there. We're right here. Po 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 po. Moya. Moya. That's what they do. But the thing is, because there's so many DJs now, the actual art of DJing is being watered down. Yeah, because no, which is machines sad. are taking over. Which is sad. You know, no people one can really mix cares. like on their iPhones and shit. You see, because like people are like you, no one really cares about the mixing anymore. It's all about mm-hmm. hearing your favorite song. Yes, it's song selection. But that's that's sad because you know, as a as a um, as a what as a as a purist as a purist. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad. But hey, it's life. You're what a mixing you purist. Yeah. So you can it. do like kind of king the ten table and stuff. Yeah, dude. Whenever I play, like if I don't mix the way I want to mix, I don't sleep that night. Wow. It eats me. It eats me. Like I'm like, ah fuck, that was a shit set. And people come up to me and be like, yo, uh um that was a dope mix, but deep down I'm like fuck, I didn't enjoy that because this is not pictures. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. There's nothing worse than playing a shit set, man. I don't know. I wouldn't relate. Uh Buki Stinte. Oh no, I've done those. Alright, cool. Uh, last one. Tejo says, Mac G, I worry about you. Hey, man. Oh. Wow. Let me, let me see. <laughs> I gotta hear this one. All right, cool. Mac G, I worry about you. Feel you need healing. Rather, you just need to be reminded how great you are. You won't find clarity if you don't exercise. Please look at Dave Chappelle. He takes exercise seriously because it benefits the mind. And if you incorporated that in your lifestyle, it would do wonders the fuck why is this person worried about me Whoa. this one ran one kilometer it's like ah my knee my knee i i totally feel you i see i just came from soccer you see i exercise my mind is free but why do i need to exercise what's wrong with me it frees up your, uh, where should we start <laughs> <laughs> where should we fucking start uh, you it? got five minutes you got five minutes no it's fine no no, no there's nothing wrong with you if you feel there's nothing wrong with you there's, nothing, <laughs> there's wrong. nothing wrong with me yeah. And I hate exercising. Oh, no, no, such no, no, a dream. No. You know this one, eh? like I think beginning of the year it comes to me like I oh, don't know. Let's run, let's run. <laughs> we ran like, for like two weeks. No, no, no. <laughs> Speak for yourself. He <laughs> ran for two weeks. Like Ish, my, he literally runs for five hundred meters, and then he starts saying, "Oh, ah, but my knee was injured. Hey, oh, my knee was my... injured. Five hundred meters. How? So now I have to lower down my pace so that I can accommodate him." Yeah, but money was injured. From what? Eh? From running. Oh. I got you know like when you, you just exercise. Got... <laughs> when you remember. exercise, if you haven't exercised for a while, your body aches. Okay. I, I I can't relate. Exactly. I haven't played soccer in three months. I went there and it was like fish to water. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Appreciate it. That was a oh. podcast and chill. Q and A edition. Mm-hmm. Quick one. Who's deep sea? Nipsey somebody, the guy with the the guy who got shot, the rapper who got shot. Oh, Nipsey. Oh, Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle. Oh, who is he? Uh, I don't know him, but uh, after he passed away, I feel like I should know him because mm. everybody's paying tribute. Like they're even comparing his death to Tupac's death. Yeah. Like that's how big he was. But I don't even know a single track about him, not a single one. Wait, wait, wait. So go back. They're comparing him to who? Mm. They're comparing his death. Like how devastating and how they're mourning in America. Look, I, 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 from from the little that I've gathered, he was a rapper. Yeah. Who was married to some 
actress yeah, the, lady. The chick, I know his chick. His chick, I know. I didn't know him. I don't know the chick. Apparently, she's an actress. I don't oh, know. Oh, hey, she's hot, dude. She's a flame, bro. Laura London. Mm. Yo, she's beautiful. In which movie is she in? She's in a lot. She actually dated Lil Wayne back in the days. Let okay, I don't picture. know. But anyway, um, Laura London. Uh, 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 from from oh, from from what people are saying. But anyway, rest in peace. Hey, uh, I'd risk deep, it all for Laura London. Is Ooh. it Deep Sea London? No, he Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle. Sorry, sorry. I don't know the guy, and people make me feel like I'm so stupid just because I don't know him. Yeah, I don't know him. Let me show you Laura London. Yeah, you don't know this girl, dog. No. You don't know. No. Ha! <gasps> What world have you been living in? I know Kerry Washington. Wow. And that girl who's married to Gabriel Union. Wow, Lynn. You need to go out more, bro. So what? I'm going to meet Laura London in Sentin. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You need to go out more. How the fuck is that going to help me with Laura London? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Appreciate all the questions. Hopefully you answered uh, to your satisfaction. And yeah. We are out of here. Don't forget Black Friday. Um, if you want to profile your business, black business, whatever you do, it doesn't matter how big, doesn't matter how small. Just hit us up on the email. The address is podcast at this is com, or you can drop us a WhatsApp on 081 474 Camera lady, do you have a question? Yeah, do you have a question? Oh, yeah, share, subscribe, like, uh, tell us where you're from. Where are you listening from? That's do you have a most question important. on Oscars? No. You got no question, eh? No. Yeah, you do should have too much. The second ghost lady. Uh, do I have a question? People are trying to find out. Um, what happened to the second ghost lady? Oh, second ghost lady wanted to be famous. Oh, wow. What happened to her? What happened to her? And then she stopped pitching. She'd just come whenever she felt like it. Pretty so we couldn't have that. She was feeling Okay. Like yeah, so we couldn't have that. We needed some consistency. Okay, cool. That's yeah. fine. Do you have a question? But I really liked her, man. She was dope. No, she's she's good people. I love she, her. She she was dope. We love you, ghost lady. Yeah. If only um you know circumstances. Another day, another time. Yeah. Another what what. You know it happens. But yeah. Oh oh oh! I want to say something, but I forgot. Do you think we need a ghost lady going forward? I don't know. You tell us. Mm. Oh, so if we don't have a ghost lady, we're gonna be deep. <laughs> it's gonna be a Father's Day, bruh. Actually, wait. There's a question that came. Uh, I don't know if you read that. Yeah. Uh, shit. Yeah, do subscribe, comment, share. It ended up on my timeline. Let's get to 10,000, man. What are we going to do when you get to 10,000, bro? Yo, I can't We're going to throw a party. Yeah, we got to throw a party, man. We got to celebrate 10,000 subscribers. Uh, it's shit, the holy the grail, man. Gone. It's the holy <laughs> grail. The question is gone. But what I wanted to ask you is that if you got another job, né, and they told you you had to stop doing the podcast, would you? You wanted to ask me? Yeah, I just asked you. So please don't get... Analytical? Just answer the question. No. Huh? What is no? No what? Okay, what was your question? Oh, ah. Question. Yo, wait. Would you say no? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> so I would still do the podcast. That's what I mean. Oh, so you wouldn't take the offer? The job? Or <laughs> Jambata? Nah, man. Uh, one way or another, it has to merge. There, there has to be a marriage. If there's no so marriage. If, if this company comes to you, they're like, Len, we want you. Here's the blank check. But you have to do. You have to stop doing the podcast. Why are you promoting Johnson's work with? Just answer the question. No, I wouldn't take the money. I'm not money driven. Blank check. I'm not money driven. <laughs> no, for real. I'm not money driven. I thought I was a purist. My nigga, blank check. <laughs> and then... Ah, that juices, dog. I'm signing that check, bro. <laughs> Sign of I. Recall that the ghost lady got fed. We are here, peace. <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.